Hi, I'm John Barber, Editor-in-Chief at IDW Publishing, and welcome to Barber Shop. I'm here to talk about a comic I actually talked about last year when it first started coming out. My Little Pony Transformers Friendship in Disguise. Now, IDW's had a long, long history of wanting to do a Ponies Transformers project. Years ago, we did some covers, some prints, came real close to doing a series. And we finally got one going in late 2019, got it all done in early 2020, had it ready to send to the printer, then COVID hit. And we weren't sure how things would go for a while, if you remember back where we were a year ago. But we did get the comic out, and you folks out there really went for it. I was excited by the story. I loved how this all-star roster of Transformers and My Little Pony characters and creators mashed up these two universes. But the reaction when we put it out into the world, that was the icing on the cake. Or should I say, the cyber icing on the pie, the pinky pie. I'm sorry, it's been a long week. Anyway, here we are in 2021 with a collected edition hitting booksellers later this month. And the next month, an all new series debuts. First, the paperback edition of the Friendship in Disguise series collects all four issues, eight stories under one set of covers. When Queen Chrysalis's magic on the pony's homeland of Equestria disrupts a space bridge on the Transformers homeworld of Cybertron, the robots in disguise find themselves catapulted from their world of metal and war to one of love and friendship and, well, antics. Of course, every My Little Pony Friendship is Magic fan knows it's not all rainbows and puppies in Equestria. So the Autobots and Decepticons find themselves caught up in the battle between Twilight Sparkle and the other main six versus Chrysalis and her minions, with Megatron and Optimus Prime very much taking sides. But a lot of the fun of the series is in the side stories, Starscream duping ro uh, Rarity and making him a royal cloak only for RC to come to the rescue, Grimlock and Spike defending the Ark against Constructicons, Pinkie Pie and Gage doing a cooking show, Windblade in a race with Rainbow Dash, Applejack defending her crops against Insecticons. Then, finally, in a finale, titled Finale, everybody comes together in final battle, and writer James Asmus, who's done some bang-up work on, uh, on Bumblebee and Voyage to the Stars, and who you might know from his work at Valiant or in X-Men titles, writes the overarching framing story with Tony Fleeks on art. And they're joined by an all-star roster of talent, including Ian Flynn, Jack Lawrence, Sarah Petre Drosher, Sam Maggs, KCW Collar, and Pris Priscilla Tramontano. Now, you know I don't like to give away endings here, but I don't think there's much even I could do to spoil the fun of Friendship in Disguise. So let me just say, at the end of the series, a certain one-eyed, one-handed, emotionless purple Decepticon seems to have a plan to get vengeance on the ponies and bring them to Cybertron. Guess what? Next month, he gets his wish. When the first issue of the all-new My Little Pony Transformers The Magic of Cybertron hits. We saw what Optimus and company did in Ponyville. Now we see how the ponies react to landing hooves first on Cybertron. Where the ponies are used to a world of trees and animals, now they're confronted by the harsh steel and iron of Cybertron. Look, I, I know Cybertronian alloys are different. Okay, bear with me though. The point is, this mechanical war world is nothing like Equestria and frankly, like nowhere the ponies have been before. What's even more fun is that that list of super talents from the worlds of ponies and Transformers, everybody's back for this one. Except Sarah, who had to graciously bow out, but of course is welcome any time here. And we've added the fantastic Trish Forstner to the roster. So, later this month, look for My Little Ponies, Transformers, Friendship is Magic in paperback form. And next month, keep your, eye peel, your eyes peeled, both of them, for My Little Pony, Transformers, The Magic of Cybertron number one, with the rest of the four-issue series to follow monthly. Megan Brown edited the whole thing, Joanna Lafuente and Luis Antonio Delgado colored it, and IDW's own Jake Wood and Neil Utaki lettered it. Visit the IDW website or your local comic book store or bookseller and check them out. And as always, let's use this time to connect and keep the IDW community active. That's all for this week. Remember, you can keep up with IDW on social media and check back here in a couple weeks for news and updates. Thanks for watching.